Hello and welcome to another update video about Fetch AI. FET has yesterday broken above this first trend line here, rallied, and uh, it's a 50% increase from the low. However, um, we're now stuck in the next micro resistance area I shared with you. From an elite wave point of view, we're currently observing whether wave four is already complete or whether we're dealing just with a larger B wave. Yeah, these are the two patterns that could still unfold here from a from a bullish point of view. Obviously, we had this strong decline in the last week, this week, over recent months, really, but it was predominantly a sideways move. The price failed to confirm that the low was in and we've now dipped and dipped and dipped. And um, we even had to increase the wave degree of this wave four. OK, however, there's a reason why I still maintain an overall bullish, let's say, perspective on FET. From a chart point of view, it's still possible, even though the chart now has some problems because this third wave is, for example, a bit too short to be reliable. But it's still the, the best count I can offer here, um, given that we are still in a bullish market. And um, we have here an ABC structure. OK, and that's that's the perspective. So the C wave could have completed, obviously. And we might now be in this, um, yeah, either in a larger B wave, in an even larger ABC, and the wave four is still unfolding, or wave four has bottomed already. To say that wave four has bottomed, I haven't seen enough. Even though a 50% move up is noteworthy, but remember how far it declined. I mean, even from that B wave top, we have a <laughs> we have a 60% decline. So it's impossible to say it, that we've bottomed. Even though you might take that perspective, it's from an Elliott Wave point of view impossible to say it because we only have three waves up and we are still stuck below the first resistance area. But we've broken above an initial trend line. So breaking above the next resistance at 173 and um, breaking above that and breaking above the trend line, which kind of goes together, as you can see, would allow us to take a look at the or to, let's say, watch the next resistance area. So it's it's about ruling out the bearish counts. Um, for example, if we have bottomed in wave four already, for clarity, I would need to see a first five wave move up. Now we haven't got that yet. Actually, there's really only very, very a little structure I could work with. There's no point trying to micro count this move up from the from the Tuesday low. So I need more structure. Therefore, I added some other bits like the trend lines. Um, we have an initial break above the trend line that might be a might have been a first signal for some of you. And now I've got the next resistance area. So if we break above that, including that trend line, that might be the next breakout signal. Yeah. And it might send the price into this resistance area, which is then defined between $1.97 and $2.75. Then we just have to be watching for possible rejections here. And I will give you the support area once we get there. And uh, if, a, if we get a break below that support, which I will then define, that would be a signal that wave C to the downside has started. For now, the local trend seems to be up, but we haven't even taken out any significant swing high. Yep, we've broken above a trend line. That's fine, but that's really everything there is. OK, so it, it again, I'm not convinced yet we've bottomed. It could be, yeah, but we need more. We need more um, action, price action. What would help is now a pullback. OK, if we get a pullback, then this could at least be a potential setup for higher prices. If that pullback happens after we get five waves up, it's even clearer. Um, in terms of Fibonacci levels, support Fib levels, I can't really give you reliable ones, but this would be a micro support area. It's between $1.21 and at least you have some Fibonacci support levels to watch. So I'm not telling you this will come down or something. This could be an A, B, C in wave B. I'm not labeling this because it could literally be anything at the moment. There's not enough structure, as I said, to work with. But if there is a pullback to maintain a bullish perspective, it would be ideal for the price to hold $1.21. And then we could move up higher either in wave B or already the wave five. That's the update about FET. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also, make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.